Who's that psalmist? Hello, my name is Father Jacob Rouse, and I'm the pastor of Notre Dame Parish in Cresco, Iowa. And for today's Corona Minute, I would like to continue to give you some help and tips on how to start to read, study, and fall in love with sacred scripture. Uh, we all know that we're supposed to be reading our Bible, and we all know that we're supposed to be working out, but uh, what does that mean, and how do you start to do that? Well, just do 10 push-ups in the morning. You already started. Okay, read, uh, read one psalm a day. Read one gospel passage a day. You already started. Uh, then let it just read through it. Get the story. Get the characters. Let it start to live in you. Let it possess you because it's a living scripture. And then uh, we'll get to the Old Testament and the New Testament letters another time. So I met this, uh, as I was meeting people in college, I met this girl who said that she loved Reliant K. And I remember thinking, oh my gosh, they're my favorite band in high school. Um, what's your favorite album? Like, what's your favorite, like, uh, era of them like they have different sounds like what, what do you like about them what's your favorite thing and she said oh I, uh, I just have one song of theirs on my iPod and I thought oh okay and I'm not critiquing her musical taste or her interest but when you say you love something or something's your favorite I assumed that you have explored all of it and uh, and been able to really say with ownership this is my favorite band or this is my favorite album by them Similarly, in seminary, on a more joking side, uh, there was a fr some friends of ours who liked to pretend to be pretentious, or maybe we actually were pretentious, I don't know. But it was fun to uh, um, ambush our brothers by like sitting down and saying, what's your favorite Beatles album? Or what's your favorite Beethoven symphony? It's uh, threatening, such a threatening question, because it assumes that you've already spent time with every single one of them, the possible options, and then have chosen a favorite, uh, through process of elimination. It assumes that you've spent time and it assumes that you've digested and consumed those pieces so that you can actually say what your favorite is. Same way it could go for Harry Potter books or, um, I don't know, whatever, book of the Bible. That brings me to my point is that um, people have always had on their walls, and I remember when I'm from when I was little, people would say, yep, Psalm 23 that was her favorite psalm, and that's why we put it in her casket. And once again, not to critique their taste or their interest, maybe that actually is their favorite psalm. But I think if it's your favorite psalm, have you? I invite you, I encourage you to like read all of them, to be able to pick an actual favorite, to be able to have a favorite prophet, to be able to have a favorite book of the Bible, uh, to be able to have a favorite psalm. So it's not just the one that people make the most songs about or quote the most or or have on a little plaque on their wall because it's the most comforting. What is your favorite psalm? What is your favorite gospel? What is your favorite Beatles album? What's your favorite Bob Dylan era? Uh, to be able to have, what's your favorite Shakespeare play? These are huge questions that assume a lot of work on your part. And whatever it is you want to have a favorite of, or whatever it is that you love investigating or knowing, um, go for it. But that's what I want to encourage you to read the psalm so that when you see Psalm 23 on uh, someone's casket or on the wall or someone says it's their favorite, you can actually say, oh, that's good. Like my favorite is, you know, Psalm uh, 88 because of uh, the turmoil that the, the author goes through. and it, Like to be able to do that is, is, I think, pretty cool and something to be proud of. Plus, it's living scripture that can get to know us. So uh, as the intro suggests, you've got to catch them all. There's 150 psalms. And there's 150 Pokemon. Well, in the Kanto region, Mew and Togepi show up for 151 and 152. But let's just go with the original 150. Got to catch them all. Uh, read them all. Um, go through them. Uh, they're, it's basically like a poetry book. Everyone wants to read more poetry also. So that's my encouragement to you. Um, as you're reading the Gospels along with alongside of the Psalms, know that these this is the Hebrew poetry, ancient text of an ancient people. Uh, who were trying to figure out God and trying to meet him and trying to ask him to meet them. Know that Jesus and his contemporaries would have known and prayed these as hymns and as uh, daily um, uh, getting through the day. They, if they could, they would have put them on plaques mass-produced on their walls probably. So go ahead and uh, start with one. Start with 19. Start with just pick a random number. I don't care. Start reading the Psalms. Uh, start reading the Gospels. Let them live inside you. Let them possess you. And uh, they'll help you get to know Jesus even more.
go catch them all. Amen. Wash your hands after uh, uh, traveling out in the wild catching Pokemon. Amen. It's King David!